for a hot drink or to heat something up, but this is pretty much uh, the only option up here. Brad Stringer has been a bus driver for eight years, and for him, the idea of a microwave in a washroom has become a necessary reality. Well, at this terminus, this is pretty much the only place. You could grab a quick coffee or a snack at the corner store, end of the line over there, but it's just not enough time on most runs uh, for operators to have a quick break. Uh, use the washroom without feeling like they have to run run back again and uh, and get the passengers on their way. The photo was taken here in the North Vancouver neighborhood of Lynn Valley, but according to TransLink, it was never supposed to be a break room. In a statement, TransLink says supervisors have repeatedly removed the microwave, but staff keep putting it back. To be clear, CNBC has not set up this washroom with a microwave, nor does CNBC intend for operators to cook food in washrooms. The Coast Mountain Bus Company provides facilities for operators to use the washroom or spend rest time along the system, some being crew rooms and some being washrooms. Now that the microwave has been removed, graffiti can be seen, presumably written by a bus driver, to bring it back. According to Stringer, this stop isn't bad compared to some. At Laurel Station downtown, you might want to go there. There's outhouses. They're, they're trying to get a nicer bathroom facility set up there, but it hasn't been plumbed or there hasn't been electric. To, they're on their way, but in the meantime, there's freezing cold, you know, uh, outhouses that are in need of desperate uh, repair. Talks between Unifor and CNBC, which operates Metro Vancouver Transit Services on behalf of TransLink, have broken off, leading to job action by roughly 5,000 Unifor Transit drivers, CBUS operators and mechanics. In North Vancouver, Ashley Burr, City News.